Today we are going to be playing with fire. Well, let's see what we can find. Matches, that will help. Right. Now, in my toy collection, <laughs> we have a Meccano steam engine. Um, as you can see, it's been boxed for ever. It is filthy. It's been in, it's on the shelf in the garage. Um, right, first thing is this wheel is very stiff. So I'm just going to gently rotate it. Right, okay, so it moves. Right. I'll put the tiniest. If I can get any oil to come out, I will put the tiniest amount of oil. No. Must be there it is, there's the oil. Right, let's get the Right, and I'll put a little bit of oil there, and a bit of oil there. Right, so we've got boiler. Presumably, I have to fill the boiler up with water. I haven't got any water yet, I think I have to go and you really need that? Well, that that opens up. Yeah, I think that's. These are just safety valves, aren't they? I think that's the way you fill the water up in there. So there's the, that's got to be filled up with water. I turn it around. That's the little meth burner tray. So that's going to need some meths, which I just about have enough meths um, come up to the label that's methylated spirits do not try this at home this was a brilliant 1960s toy for 1960s health and safety rules all right um should be supervised by an adult well uh, part of me is adult right anyway Okay, I'm going to go and find some good clean water, and I'll be back. Right, I'm back. I've got some water. So, how are we supposed to go? I have to have a little fun for this, aren't I? It's, how am I supposed to get this water in there? Oh, I'm plenty. Right, back, right, plan B, how to get water. Now, this was a syringe left over from filling up inkjet printers. Nothing more sinister. But I think the kit came with a lovely little sort of tin funnel to help you get the water into the tank. So, I think you want the tank about half full. I have no idea how much it holds. If I, I remember the Mammoth steam engines. We were playing with these when we were about ten. So right, so they're all right. I've got my little washer, my little sorry, um, little screw with a handle and a washer. The washer's incredibly dry. Let's just give it a dabble of oil just to. I'll put a seal, I think. I have not tried this for 20 years. So, there's no test run being done on this. This is... Right, 
there's right so we have a tank of water I'm too old to open safety lids. Right. The last of my methylated spirits. Right. Remember that the meth burns very clear and it might you may not actually be able to see the flame. Um, it's always quite good to put a piece of paper, a tiny piece of paper, give you a little idea of whether it's burning or not. You record it, definitely. I think match is going to work. It's cold in here. Try that side. Yay! papers are like. I'm not sure about the maths. So we have our burner going inside under the tank. And we are waiting. It's getting warmer. No, it's not. Mods have shown 110 degrees. No, the mods is more like showing 70 degrees. Small signs of steam emerging. It's still nowhere near boiling as such. Top of the tank's about 66 degrees. The end is giving me a slower, reading off that brass. I'm not quite sure why. Hundred and forty degrees on the flame. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Hmm. Always thinking about doing something, it's still not there yet, I'm being a bit impatient. That's what it's like, wasn't it? Firing one of these up. The impatience of trying to get it to go. It's getting there. Starting to make steamy noises. All fired up. Ooh. Yeah, it's still, still alive. I haven't got any spare white methylated spirits, so um, it is what it is. Yay! Uh -huh. 
think if we reverse the lever, it will go the other way. Not as well. There's the forward method. Degrees. Not particularly hot in that tank. Well, it's just, that's the outer heat shield, to be fair. If you stop it, build up a bit of pressure, see if it'll start on the lever. Just need something to fire off it. 